Hello and welcome back to Carmson Farm for what I think is episode 22. Um, you'll see quickly there that there was a fertilising contract going. We've actually got two contracts going at the minute. Whoa. Um, yeah, we've actually got two fertilising contracts going. Uh, they're both set away on work because I'm sure very soon I'm going to have to go and sort of help them out because they're going to get stuck. One especially. Because when I've set the worker away, it was um, it was going, <laughs> yeah, it went weird. It went that way. Instead of what you think it'll go up and down there, it didn't. So that might already need help. Um, the money's down just because the fertilizer we've um, we've had to buy, as well as this here, this. Um, what I'm going to use is a lime spreader. It cost us over four grand to hire, and then the nearly nineteen thousand liters of lime, I think, cost us three thousand four hundred. So it's been an expensive do really, so far, and we've got three massive fields to lime because I'm sure what all three need doing. So we'll just have to see how far we get with it, um, but it needs doing. It's like fifteen percent yield bonus, isn't it? So. Uh, we will be doing it. You can see there our 9RX left exactly where we left it from the last episode. Um, I have returned the the plough because I'm not going to need that yet. Um, I won't need that again until we buy a new field but I might not buy a new field until um, until the beginning of sort of the harvest season. Uh, let's get that on. So yeah, needs line. Get back in there because I don't think it spreads overly far. No, it doesn't. This is with the extra um, spreading width on as well. Right. So I mean what you see we're already 3% in. So it is going to take a lot. And we've got three fields to do with this. I'm pretty sure it's all three fields. Yeah. Right, touch wood, I've been on this for maybe about 20 minutes or so now, half an hour, um, I finished off the last job, the last job, the last um, video, which is only like, I think it was two and a half, three minutes long, the last clip, and then I've come pretty much straight onto this one. Um, Got the contracts away, got went and picked this up and filled it with lime. And we haven't had any issues yet. Which is good. I know um I had a comment on the last video, which I fully expected to be honest, because uh it was something that I thought would happen anyway given the issues that we've been having on it on the map. Um saying that the think there's going to be an update for this map coming out soon, but it'll require a new save game. If that happens, and like I said, it's something that I thought might happen anyway. Um, I don't know what I'll do. I'm going to save this just while we're heading down here. If we have to do another save game on here, there's a good chance that this series will end. Wherever we are, it'll end because, I mean, we're over a year into it now. We've had our first 
proper harvest we've got hundreds of thousands of litres worth of crops we've got our productions started our animals are up and away um, yeah I just I can't see how we'd get back to the level where are we at now it would take I would basically have to play the map on my own not recording anything um, and then try to set it back up again and I think it would take hours and hours and hours to do that right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly set that away and do something I never normally do and that's tab and we're going to get these contacts finished this is used so much more fertiliser than I thought it was there was 4,000 litres of fertiliser in here like 40% where are we at? 90 I mean, that isn't going to help if I'm missing bits. But yeah, it's such a weird... weird shape. You can see there. What we need really at the end of this probably the end of this episode to be honest um we need a, a slurry spreader because we really i mean we're up to 183,000 liters of slurry we need to start getting that used right that, that's that one done. So let's jump out of there. We'll get payment for that. 23,867. And let's tab over to the next one. We had 4,000 litres in this as well. I knew. I'd overbought on this one, but I just would have been at the upset end of the map. Uh, where are we at? So, I mean, we all the way over here. I just didn't want to, um, I didn't want to underfill it and then have to drive all the way back over. I mean, this should be pretty much there, to be honest. It was at 97% already, wasn't it? There we go. So we'll jump out of there. We'll get that 15,686. We'll go down and save that. Right. Let's tab along again. So we're already 45,000. I mean, that was just unfortunate, wasn't it? That stretch there. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a pain because that's using loads up just to go along that little strip there what I'm waiting for is just to set it away at the top and then I might go and look at slurry spreaders right let's get that off I 
I'll pack over there. There we go. Mate. We will be spending a decent amount of money on, so that's 21,000 litres. It's going to be some of these big ones here. 20, 18, 20. That's a tanker, isn't it? Thirty thousand liters, thirty two thousand liters. These are the sizes that we're going to be looking at, and I, I won't be that bothered about spending the money on it either. I'll, um, even if I have to get a loan, I'll do that. I mean the saddle track. What's the saddle track at? Thirty thousand liters. Joe, you know that might be. That might be a decent shout. That. That isn't just a tanker, is it? So we tanks are used to fertilize field. Uh, the only but that's the issue, isn't it? Having to buy that. But then I suppose if I if I buy that if I buy that could I sell the nine RX? It's got a three point linkage at the back. I could do, couldn't I? So I could use that to do things like plough earning. I can't upgrade the horsepower. The have I got anything that is towards the five hundred horsepower, such as cedar two hundred. Roller, 160 sprays, no. Baler, 230. I haven't got a cultivator ever, but I'm not going to need one yet. I mean, I'm going to get nothing back from it. Uh, I can't even remember how much I paid for it, to be fair. I know I bought it second hand. So yeah, that's saddle track. That might be a damn good idea. 12.5 metres for that, what's ours? It's a tether. Um, 8.4. Our grass fields aren't that big though, are they? That's the issue, I suppose. No, we'll keep... We'll not spend the money on... A new wind drawer, but that saddle track I'm definitely interested in. Sell the 9RX, buy the saddle track, buy it brand new as well. We might have a plan. What I'm going to do? Get off. I'll go and move the 9RX now. Should just tapped over, shouldn't I? Wait, in fact, what I'm gonna do? Let's drive over to the store, and we'll see how much we can get for it. Because either way, I'm not gonna need. Do you know what? I'm just gonna nip over these bushes. Yeah, there's a little gap in the bushes where you can get over. There you go. Over there. I'm not actually going to need this for a while now. So, 
I'll just get over to the saw. Two sex. Right, we'll just park it straight in. Um, straight in the cylinder area. What are we at? So, 51 grand. Um, repair. 69. Repaint. So, I mean, if we repaint it here, we want basically 104 grand, don't we? If it's not 104 grand, then it hasn't been worth it. Yeah, so. Minor. I say minor, it's still. Still more money. Right, let's sell that back. 107,000. And. We've just had. I don't know if you've seen it as we came on. The. Other John Deere. I'll tab over. The other John Deere has just run out. So we need to go and fill this up. And then we need to crack on with all three fields. You'll see over there I've got the cedar. That's ready to go as soon as this field's been done. So what we'll do is, off camera, I'm going to start going across these fields with the lime. And then we will come back once we've done that. Okay, so we're back on. And quite a lot has changed since we went off. Probably more than what I wanted to be honest. Um, I'll explain why shortly. Just get this bit done here. So we're down in the bottom field at the minute. Uh, this was one of the potato fields. So when we left, again, this I'm coming back on it about two or three days after the last sort of lot of recording. Um, for regular viewers, you know what the crack is at the minute. So, yeah, um, in that time, what I thought I'd do was I'd get all three fields lined, and as you can see, if you look up, you can see the next field up has been lined as well. Um, and then, what I thought I'd do is get two out the three fields seeded. So, this field seeded um, with canola and the very top field that you can't see, I don't even know if you'll be able to see if I jump on here, no you can't. The very top field is also um, seeded with canola. Bit of an enforced break there but what I was getting at was basically we've got we've got now t two fields um, both with canola in um, both being limed what we need to do is do we need to roll them or did I roll them no I need to roll them you'll see I've knocked um, I knocked the time right down as well because time just hugely got away from us we also need to refuel and fix this which I think we'll do now just conscious we're gonna well we are we're starting to lose the light now are we it's only quarter past, quarter past five <laughs> right I'll leave this up here I might have rolled that top one you know Sixteen grand to repair, my word. Right. And now refuel it as well. Yeah, I have a feeling that I've already rolled the top one. Once we once we've got some um, fuel going in, I'll have a look. I know our truck needs um, needs repairing as well. That's really suffering at the minute. Yeah, so 
these two have been rolled. It's a bit strange for number nine, isn't it? So I just need to do number six, which I think we might go and do now, actually. One of the other things I did off camera, I can't remember if um, if it was between episodes or what, but I went and put loads of uh, I made loads of TMR for our, our cows. So 113,000 litres worth. This field here. I'm keeping to put potatoes in. I do still want to buy another field, however. Um, until I do that, I'm not going to put another crop in. I've got loads of wheat and barley. I've just put two loads of canola in. I mean, really, sort of sensibly, I'd put a wheat or barley crop in, really. Um, oh, is that, this is going to be really difficult if I can't see it. That's going to be really hard, because I can't tell. Right. New plan. New plan. We need a slurry tank. That's what we need. We'll go and get rid of this. I'm going to go and have a look and see what tanks we can get. Two seconds. Over at the start, right. Firstly, use machinery. This is in there. 44% off. We're going to go for it. Um, Brands don't matter. We'll sell ours once we're, um, once we're in a position to bring the stuff back across. The other thing that we need to do, I'm going to... Hopefully have enough. And I'm going to get that saddle trap. Right. Let's have a look. I've had a look at a few different ones. But for the size of what we need, this is what I'm going to go for. So that's 144. Let's get that. 394 so we need a little bit more we will get that for 25 the distributor so we need to get 394 right I'll take it up to that is there any contracts going no none at all Right, combinations, that. Um, I'll go with them, BKTs. Right. Now this, I mean, to be fair, we were needing to buy a bigger tractor anyway. Um, with us selling ours, with us selling the John Deere. So that was always going to happen. And I just thought, why not put it together? We'd have been spending the money regardless. It's not like this is the only thing we're going to use this. Um, what's it even called? 
Zerion. Zerion saddle track. It's not like the only thing we're going to be using this tractor for is um, putting slurry down. We'll use it for all sorts. Thank God it's long. Right, let's get over, get filled up, and we'll get field number six done. 30,000 litres, we're full. I can't imagine it's going to last overly long. Um, I'll just have to wait and see. I'll get round on a, a straight a bit. There we go. Right, why... Let's get in there. It keeps missing bits and I don't know why. difficult to manoeuvre this. It's not easy at all. I mean, bits right on the side I'm not overly fussed about, to be honest. I don't know why. It's as if it's always pulling away. And then just randomly, them bits in the middle will be left. See what I mean? Right, let's back up here. I'll get this pulled in, it'll just be easier. I know we had a nightmare with the harvester along here, didn't we? I don't know. Whether this is just going to take more practice or what, but it is really, really hard. To keep this going. I mean, this is what we wanted. We wanted to be getting away from man-made fertilizers and starting to use our own and this is certainly going to allow us to do that so why why is it leaving big chunks there absolutely no no idea just, I mean, I'm not doing anything. I'm literally, literally not pressing anything there. And it's... Just leave, leave an odd bit. I wonder if that's um, nothing to do with the applicator. I wonder if that's something, something to do with the ground state. Possibly.
I mean, it's following around. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Right. Ah, it looks like that might be... It's not applying because... It's already shown as having some... Some fertiliser on it. Get, I'll get these done, each end done, because um, then if I need to set a worker away, I can. But it's not going through it as fast as what I thought it would, to be honest, which I'm quite happy with. Um, I had 180,000 litres, I think. It depends how much that tank, I don't know how much that tank's um, worth of it. I can't remember if it was 50,000 litres or 100. Might. Because I might have 50,000 litres less than what I thought I did. The tank that can't be moved. <laughs> That's over there. It's just stuck. I think I'd have to do some sort of groundwork or something. To get it out. Right, now let's go off to the other side. I did press the button there, just something to recognise. I mean, the although it is difficult to use, I'm not going to lie, it is difficult. <laughs> difficult. Um, this isn't going to get changed now. We've got this for the rest of the map. For the rest of the um, Let's Play. I think it's something like 470 horsepower. So there's not going to be an issue with that. It's definitely going to be an issue controlling the thing. Yeah, so there'll be several things we'll be able to use it for. The tanks, I don't know if you can get them. I think there's maybe a tank for 34,000 litres, but then we would have only had to buy a tractor of the sort of same milk anyway, because it took like 400 horsepower to pull it, so... The only thing we're doing this now is... I don't have the um, the funds available to go and buy a field. I'd have to sell something to go and do that. And that's a shame. Right. I am going to jump and then come back once this is close to the end. Okay, we're back on. And... If I've learned anything, it's to press the circle button when we want to lower the uh, applicator. There we go. Right, if I've learned anything, it's we're not going to have enough slurry. <laughs> so, I've used pretty much all of it. I've got, I think I've got about 5,000 litres left in the mobile tank and whatever we're going to be left with in here. 
um, for the other fields. It's gone through it at a ridiculous rate. I mean, the fields are massive. But um, if you heard that bang, it was me, me dropping my phone. The fields are massive. However, I didn't think it would take up everything. And it has been everything. So, I mean, look, you'll see we empty there. I'm sure the mobile tank's got 5,000 left in. It was actually a 65,000 litre capacity, the mobile tank. Not 100,000 litres, which I thought it might have been. Um, the thing that we need to do, we need to try to find out how we can harness the slurry from our pigs. Because there's no natural um, slurry point there, so we can't collect it. It's just in a field. However, we are getting it from our cows, so is there a way of putting some sort of slurry tanker up there, or silo, or anything? Because I know pigs create quite a lot, don't they? Um, so yeah, if you know how I can do that, please let us know. I'll do this last bit over here, and then I think we'll wrap it in for the day. Um, what I might do is get the rolling done in this field, off camera. Um, I can't <laughs> that's so typical, it can stare, I'm not bothered. Yeah, I might get the rolling done off camera. Because uh, it's just it's getting too late, and I think this video is starting to drag on for a bit. So we'll leave it there. That's our new bit of kit. In general, I really like it. However, the amount of slurry we're going to need may prove to be an issue. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.